What's up, YouTube? This is the J-Man, and I'm the Jokester. And uh, today's episode, we are presenting the sequel to the Koopling episode we we wrote for you, uh, or Jason wrote for you, rather, in, the, in our previous video. If you watched that one, Dumb Wendy, Idiot Wendy, it's, it was an, uh, an episode of Jason's uh, cartoon sitcom about the Koopalings. Uh, the, from the characters from Mario, um, and we wrote he he wrote the whole episode uh, in the video, and it was about Morton Koopa possessing his sister, so he could go purchase a large order of fast food at McKoopa's. And in this episode, we've we've written the sequel already. You won't get to watch Jason create it all in his mind's eye. Uh, it's already written. He he comes up with the ideas. I transcribe them for him. I write them down for him. And uh, this is the sequel where Wendy takes her brother to court um, for the crime of possessing her. Did, have I forgotten to mention anything, Jay? Don't worry. You took a test. Happy <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's very very important. Uh, not usually these episodes that you write. Jason has uh, created over a hundred episodes of this show, and I think they always have a happy ending, even or a crazy ending. Um, never really too sad. But this is episode twenty nine of season four of the Cooplings and Bowser Junior show. Really, part two of the the Dumbifier saga, and this episode is entitled "The Court." So, Morton, Junior, and Wendy get into their clown car and go to the courthouse because Wendy is suing Morton for possessing her, <laughs> uh, her own brother. Wendy says, okay, guys, we've arrived at the court, but hang on a second. She sees something weird. She sees Mauser, Triclide, and Claw Grip, famous Super Mario Brothers 2 enemies. They're, they're already at the courthouse. And Triclide says, we should just leave those Koopas alone. Uh, and Mauser, the giant, the giant bomb throwing mouse. There's part of the white and with them so much. That's true. That's a common. Mauser, Triclide, and Clogrip are kind of recurring villains in your series here, and Mauser's the leader, and it seems like Triclide and Clogrip. Uh, don't want to do as much, do any evil, or they don't want to be as evil as he is. And it's strange that they uh, hang out together. So Mauser turns to a random old man and says, "Hi, random old man. We're going to play some pranks on Wendy. I don't know why he's in, he's telling this old man this." Then the random old man says, "What's that, young man? Who? What's about who's mega about?" And Mauser says, "No, I said Wendy, old man." And he throws an anvil on the old man. <laughs> so that's murder. Okay, guys, Mauser says, let's uh, place a pin on the chair Wendy will sit on, and then we'll put a pillow on top of it. Let the pranks commence. So they find uh, the chair that, uh, <laughs> outside the courtroom that, that Wendy's going to sit in. They put a pin on the pillow, a pin under it, and a pillow. Then Wendy goes to sit down, and, and she says, Ow, who did this? Was it you, Morton? Well, I'm going to... Just then, the bailiff interrupts. And says, the judge is ready for you, Koopas. Wendy says, great. Now don't do that again, Morton. That hurt. Junior, Bowser Jr. says, okay, now we present me, the lawyer, the copper, the jury, and the judge. The bailiff says, and now our honorable Judge Cooper. Now, if you watched the previous episode, you know Cooper was also employed at Mick Koopa's. He, he sold <laughs> the food that Morton ate when he was possessing Wendy's body, so he, he should not be presiding over this trial. It's a conflict of interest. But he's the judge, because I guess this whole courtroom is crooked. Nintendo uh, would be a fools to pass up this series once it's complete. Hopefully uh, they'll, they'll buy it from Jason uh, and make us rich. Uh, Judge Cooper bangs his gavel and says, order, order, who are the witnesses here? Who's the witness? 
And Junior says, yes, Your Honor. Uh, I, I'm the witness. I saw it all. And it, it was Morton. Morton did it. And Morton says, duh, what's this case again? I forgot. Because Morton is an idiot. Even though he invented the he, he created the dumbifier and possessed his sister, he's actually an idiot. Uh, Wendy says, you possessed me with the dumbifier. And Morton replies, oh, right. Well, I just wanted you to do some cool stuff. Judge Cooper says, what kind of cool stuff? Uh, Morton says, well, like making her help me. Wendy, no, you made me eat a bunch of carbs, and then you, I had to eat even more carbs. <laughs> uh, Morton wonders, what's a carb? Wendy moans loudly, ugh. So now Junior says, I'm going to go ask the jury. <laughs> <laughs> and he presents the dumbifier to the jury. It's just so Junior is the witness and he's the lawyer. Another conflict of interest. This is a very strange courtroom. Junior says, "Okay, jury, here I I'll let me show you the dumbifier." And Judge Cooper says, "So it makes you possess a person, and then it makes you dumb." And Junior says, "That's right, Your Honor." So Morton says, "Let me see that, Junior. I'll use it on Wendy right now and show you." So, Morton is demonstrating how he committed the crime in the courtroom, even though he says he didn't do it. This is the craziest trial <laughs> I've ever seen. So, Morton shoots Wendy with the dumb yeah. fire, putting his mind into her body. Wendy says, I'm free! And then Junior reaches into Wendy's mouth and pulls Morton out, just like the previous episode. Junior says, I gotta destroy this cursed device. Morton says, no way, you can't. I asked our brother Iggy if I could try inventing something, and then I invented the dumbifier. Junior, mm -hmm. sa Junior says, oh yeah, Iggy, we need Iggy to come to the uh, courtroom. So they call back to the house. <laughs> yes, that's, that's how you should say it. Uh, so they call Iggy back at their house, and Iggy says, oh no, Junior wants me to go to court. Iggy gets in his clown car, and then he looks at a, hit the nearby robot that he's invented. Iggy says, don't worry, robot, I'll, I'll be right back. He kisses the robot and says, well, I gotta go. Iggy leaves and soon arrives at the courthouse. <coughs> okay, I'm here. Junior says, okay, Iggy, are you responsible for all this? And Iggy says, well, the dumbifier is a Morton invention, but when you think about it, I had him invent it in my lab, so I guess I really have nothing else to say. <laughs> Junior says, don't worry, you're a smart kid. Uh, suddenly, Morton interrupts. Hey, Wendy, have you eaten any danishes today? And Wendy says, yes, at McCoopa's. I had an order fit for a queen. It was some gross, disgusting food. <laughs> so, Wendy, uh, well, so I guess that's the, uh, that's Wendy, I guess if Morton had asked Wendy in the first episode, to take him to make Koopa, she would have said, no, I don't want to go, because I think it's gross. <laughs> I guess, she ate there today, I guess, because it was the only restaurant on the way to the courthouse. Uh, so suddenly, Morton pulls out a pizza, and he's eating from he's eating pizza at his own trial from a pizza box. <laughs> and Wendy yells at him, Morton, pay attention. Morton says, I thought this was a court. This is more like a school. <laughs> Judge Cooper says, this is not a school. This is a courtroom. And I rule that this was all Morton's fault. Wendy says, I knew it, I knew it. <coughs> and Morton asks, does this mean I'm going to prison? Judge Cooper says, yes. Morton says, but I have four pizza boxes left. Well, you ought to have enough to eat other than the slop in jail. Morton says, okay, at least I'll be stuffed. Because Koopas can actually go 60 weeks without eating. <laughs> And they take Morton to jail, and Morton's in jail. And meanwhile, at home, Wendy is laying in her bed, and she's sad. She says, what have I done? Bowser comes in and says, what's wrong, sweetums? Oh, Morton's in jail. Bowser had no idea any of this was going on. He suddenly says, what, what? Morton's in jail? <laughs> Morton runs into, <laughs> Bowser runs into Morton's room. Great father. He had no idea that his daughter was uh, suing his son. <laughs> Bowser runs in and says, Oh no, Morton, my sweet 19-year-old son. Bowser runs to his own bed and starts crying. Uh, his wife, Bowser, says, What's wrong, honey? Bowser says, Morton's in jail. Eleven weeks later, 
Wendy goes to the jail because Morton is being released early for good behavior. I don't. You never told me what Morton's original sentence was. Was he sentenced to a year in prison? <coughs> what was? How much did he get life in prison for using the dumb fire? No. You. No. Nobody knows what his. <laughs> This courtroom is insane. <laughs> okay, so nobody knows what Martin's original <laughs> sentence was. Anyway, 11 weeks later, Martin is released from jail, and the song Romeo and Juliet begins playing as he's released. Wendy and Martin hug, and a bunch of cute animals gather around like little <laughs> songbirds and deer. <clears throat> so then Wendy says, I'm so sorry I got you into trouble. Let's go home. Outside of the Koopaling house, it's nighttime, and the mad moon has risen in the sky. Bowser and Bowsette see their son, and they say, Morton, oh, we were so worried about you. They start crying with joy. Morton says, oh, you guys, stop crying. Bowser says, don't worry. We're, so, we're just so happy. Morton goes into his room. Ah, here it is, my own room. Much better than my jail cell. Um... And Bowser says, Morton, you can stay up for a little while longer. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Morton starts watching TV while eating Cracker Jacks. The end. Well, you were right. That was a happy ending, Jason. Uh, uh, and I'm glad. I was actually surprised that, that you wrote it so Morton did go to jail. Uh, Mauser somehow escaped being arrested for killing the old man with an anvil. I don't know how that. I don't know how you could drop an anvil on someone outside a courthouse and escape. So we hope everyone out there enjoyed uh, episode twenty-nine, part two, the conclusion of Morton possesses his sister and forces her to eat carbs. <gasps> uh, really, uh, a high crime if there ever was one. Carbs. <laughs> carbs. All right. Well, say say goodbye to all your beautiful viewers, Jay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Find you guilty of harassment. And might I add, if you're hungry, go to a restaurant for crime and sake or a grocery store, but leave that poor bird alone. <laughs>